Here today we're going to show you creating an OpenXDX exchange. So first of all we need to create a new template and today we're going to pull some patient details from an existing data store. So we've created the uh, basic template and we're going to store that and as you can see we now have uh, an empty XML structure. So the next step is going over here and you can see we're connected to the existing database that we have for the patient and the prescription information that has been written. And we're here reusing the tool in designer mode. So what we're going to do is drag and drop the prescription master table into the XML structure. And you can see what's happened is it's filled in the XML components, it's filled in the rules about the content, and it's also created XML compatible names from the SQL uh, components. So if we have a look here you can see the original SQL names and how they've mapped over using the name naming and design rules uh, for how uh, mixed case names uh, are generated. Next we want to add in the patient information so we can drag and drop that over onto the master and once again the fields have been filled in and in this case we have a repeatable rule here uh, for the patient information. We want to just delete that because of course in our data model the prescription only has one patient. Then back here we'll complete the information with the actual drugs that the patient has been prescribed. Again just drop that in at the master level. This time we do want that repeatable because there could be more than one drug. All those fields have been filled in. So now we can save the template and then come to the open data option and actually generate the open data. Connect to the database. Put in our password. Click OK. It runs. We can examine the console log and we can see that it has retrieved three data records which is all the data in our sample database. Uh, it has automatically deduced the keys uh, and the relationships uh, using the indexes and the foreign key that are defined. And then if we click to our folder we can actually open this with the text editor and here is the information that we just created with the three records, the information about the patient, the drugs they're taking and the prescription that's been written, the date and time and so on that it was uh, issued and filled. That concludes our quick demo. Welcome to part two of our demonstration. Here we're going to show you running the OpenXDX component from inside WebLogic and the JDeveloper environment. So here we connect to the test system and run the OpenXDX service. So this is a web service and this shows you responding to a request, gener generating the desired output and sending that to the requester and here you can see the exact same data that we generated in the interactive mode now running as a web service and you can see in the JDeveloper console log here the same messages as we were seeing before with the records being output and above you can see the Java code itself with the five simple steps that are needed to actually execute this.